Well, former President Thabo Mbeki called on leaders of the African continent to reflect on how they plan to deal with the double standards of the West when it comes to geopolitical wars that don't necessarily affect them. Mbeki is in Guinea with his foundation where the annual lecture named after him was held for the first time outside South Africa. Newsroom Africa's senior politics reporter Ziandang Noble is in Conakry and filed this report. Former President Thabo Mbeki kick-started the annual lecture named after him by quoting from a speech made in 2021 by the keynote speaker, Professor Siba Grovagai, about how the war in Iraq contributed towards the despondency when talking about the International Criminal Court. Mbeki says the doublespeak of European countries at the time remains a point of reflection for how justice is meted out on the African continent at present. If African people can permit themselves to say, quote, we don't care about international criminal court, unquote, it's partly because of Iraq. The lack of consequences for it led many to the conclusion that there was no universal justice, universal humanitarian morality, universal jurisdiction. Mbeki has also called for a reflection on how the African continent responds to the double standards of the West. And giving an assessment here of the war of Iraq, of Iraq what, what happened there, and what it means for us as Africans and not to be deluded by the mere use of words about multilateralism, mutual coexistence, mutual respect, rule of law, when people are actually, the people who pronounce those ideas very forcefully are precisely the same people who violate them. During his lecture, Grover Guy lamented the failure of African countries to create an independent institution which would be impartial to states, businesses and professional organizations to renew the continent. He says the fact that young people no longer seem interested in building the continent and choose to go elsewhere should concern all those who claim to be Pan-African. I'm not here to defend President Gabombeki's positions. I'm not either to destroy things, but, but today President Biki is inspiring and should be a good leader and role model to us. He wants us to rehabilitate our own Africa and the land of the African people. South African Ambassador to Guinea, Soli Mullo, who was in the country when the military staged a coup against former President Alpha Conde in 2021, says the stability of the continent is critical now more than ever. It is it's important to draw all our strength together and focus and ensure that the countries return to stability, to democracy, to prosperity, because with all these uncertainties, indeed, there is, no, there, there is no security, there is no stability, people are never sure of what is going to happen. And therefore, the professor was very effective in sharing that message and drawing also from the wisdom of why Guinea is so important. I think even President Beggy spoke to them. Later on in the evening, South African songstress Simpiwe Dana graced the stage to perform some of the late Miriam Makeba's greatest hits as a part of a tribute concert in her honor. Makeba spent 10 years in Guinea after being banned from returning to the United States in the late 1960s. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Ziandangobo in Guinea.